Hey, welcome back. What's up? Sorry, it's been a minute. I know I'm lame, right? I mean, I don't even know why I'm apologizing. I suck. But let's talk about what I want to talk about, which is fasting. Um, okay, so I started doing some intermittent fasting like the rest of these YouTubers, and I want to share my experience as kind of a lay person, right? So I started with like regular fasting, which is like an eight hour window, you know, pick a window. Maybe it's gonna be eight to five, maybe it'll be two to 10. Now I'm a late night snacker. You know, you guys know I used to be an ex stoner. And when I was a stoner, I snacked. And then when I quit smoking weed, I stopped smoking weed, but the munchies kind of stayed with me. Anyways, so I was like snacking a lot and I was snacking on health food, but those calories stack up too. Right, anyways, so I read like a whole bunch of articles and I watched a whole bunch of YouTubes. And so allegedly it's like super anti-aging, super healthy. There's this thing called autophagy, which basically means when you're fasting and it can't, um, there's not food there, it starts to eat up your shitty cells and then you rebirth new cells. And allegedly it's supposed to help with like cancer and diabetes and anti-aging right now. I don't know. I just heard this from people on the internet that claim to be doctors and all that, but I know that autophagy is a real thing. You can check it out. Um, so there's a lot of reasons for me to do this. And then I was like, you know what? I can do it. And then I guess for some women, 20 hours is a better fast. So, I did that a couple times and I'm not gonna lie, is it fun? It ain't fun, mm-mm, mm-mm, not fun. But then later it does become kind of fun because the less you eat, oh, somebody just went to the bathroom, I can hear them flushing. Anyways, the less you eat, the less hungry you become. So if you cheat on the fast, you'll actually just be kind of miserable, right? So. I'm relying completely on like stevia, right? And by that, I'm like having stevia in my coffee. I put a little MCT oil. I'll have iced tea with some stevia. I have diet beverages made with stevia. I drink a lot of water. I'll make a lemon soda with stevia. I squeeze the lemons myself, not with like my hand, but like a little machine. So basically I'm surviving on liquids. So then I built, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try 72 hours. Let me see if I can do it. And I always told myself, look, if it sucks, I'll just eat, whatever. <laughs> but I made it. So here's what I've learned. I'm a badass soldier, right? Like, forget the diet, forget the autophagy. Just knowing that I was able to do that is so crazy. And now I'm like, 24 hours ain't shit. Could do 24 hours probably at least once a week. You know, and like, I felt good. And I, I did go to the gym. I didn't do some hard out, hard ass, cardi hard ass cardio in the middle of the fast because that would make me hella hungry. But I probably could have. But like a few hours before the end, I did. Now the last six hours of the 72 hour fast, that was hard because I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I was like, ooh. Ooh, I cannot wait to be eating that chicken. I'm gonna eat up that avocado. I'm gonna eat up that yogurt. I'm gonna eat a lot. So that is one thing about a fast is when you do eat, you, you can overdo it. And I have kind of overdone it. I'm still tweaking. I haven't been doing this that long, um, that long, like about a, about a month, I think. I've been, is this video only four minutes? I'm sorry about all the non-editing that I do. Um, but as I was saying, right, like there's just something super powerful, you know, about doing that. Now, what I do want to tell you people, what I've learned is the food industry is so shady. They are as bad as Marlboro, honestly. You know why they put sugar in everything you eat? Crackers, yogurt, syrups, jams. It's to addict us, you know, because if we all figure out we don't need to eat that shit all the time, it's gonna be a problem, right? They've actually buried a bunch of studies on what like sugar can do. 
like sugar feeds cancer. Cancer thrives off of sugar. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. And like, we know sugar is gonna cause a whole bunch of diabetes. Now look, I love sugar. Nobody ate more Sour Patch candies than me, right? I can go down the long list of all the sour candy that I love, right? Sea Scotch Mellow, I love that too. Right? One time I found some chocolate covered Swedish fish. Do you know how good that was? Chocolate covered gummy bears. Don't even get me started on like the Swedish sour candy. And I still eat that stuff once in a while, you know, cause I gotta live. But I was really grubbing before. Anyways, did you know this? Like I've been telling all my friends this, I'm sure they're like, bitch, shut up. We, I'm tired of hearing this. But they put some kind of weird ass drug and shitty food to make you think it tastes better. Like, do you really think Nilla wafers taste good? It doesn't taste good. It tastes bad. I mean, you know what is good though? Nutter butters. You know what is good and kind of good for you, but it just has so many calories? Almond butter. It's very sad. Yeah, I mean, I could do a whole video on all my little allegedly healthy recipes, right? I probably should, I should do a second one. I kind of did one before about how I stay almost skinny. Now I'm kind of getting there. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. This this takes a lot of bravery. <clears throat> okay, no, I ain't gonna show you, but look, I'm gonna just tell you this. The belly is still a little bit jiggly, but I can still hella catfish people in my clothes. Hey, my turn, catfish.